If one seeks to defeat illusions, one first should ask themselves what exactly is it that they are trying to remove from their life or trying to become better in their life or in the most simple-minded form fight against. See, in this life, fighting against something doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna win it, just like a military warfare. It doesn't mean that if you're fighting against someone, you're gonna win it, right? When it comes to psychological dimension, mental dimension, fighting against a thought, an idea, whatever you call them, that which is in your mind, is never the good thing. It's not a, it's not a good strategy. It's actually the worst strategy because fighting against something in the psychological and mental dimension means that you're going to feed those your energy instead. So instead of a desired result of winning against those illusions, you actually waste your energy into making them stronger and they will simply multiply. You're multiplying those. They're not multiplying on their own. The more energy you feed those, you simply make more of those. See, illusions are nothing else but, well, let's call them fake truths. To a certain dimension of your logical system, they make sense, right? That is why we embrace illusions. If you are taught at school, for example, that 2 plus 2 equals 5, well, you will think, if you are taught in a way that makes sense to you, you will think that that is the truth and you will embrace it. Especially to simple-minded people, the first thing that is put in their minds is that which they will fanatically fight for. It is much easier to fool people, right? Than convince them that they have been fooled. To put it in a nutshell, all of these truths and untruths, especially the untruths, they are nothing else ultimately but a piece of meaning, right? Meaning is something that you make use of because it makes you feel in a certain way, it makes you feel safe, it makes you feel knowledgeable, it makes you feel strong because knowledge is power. To a certain extent, obviously, knowledge is power. Mm, If you don't know how to make use of that knowledge, well, it's not as much power, but ultimately, all of this is just meaning. You have to understand meaning is something we all accumulate. When we come into this world, we come without any meaning. We don't have any thoughts, ideas, and the such in our brain. Obviously, a lot of things from, you know, karmic structures that we take from our parents, that we also come with from previous lifetimes, obviously it exists there, and you will feel as if you haven't learned those, if you feel as if they have been somewhere stagnant in there and they became reactive again right? They became active again. Let's say re-became active instead of reactive because that may be misinterpreted. So one has to understand meaning is something you create and it doesn't serve you any purpose. It only serves the mind a purpose because the mind is obsessed with things. So the ultimate way of defeating illusions is reminding yourself that it is nothing else but a piece of meaning. Think a bit, at least a bit, to about what is it that is lacking in your life, right? Why is it that you require those illusions, right? Because, let's say, self-destructive behaviors, they are something important to a lot of people, right? They are uh, against life because it's self-destruction, but to them it psychologically and emotionally makes sense because there is a piece of meaning somewhere that tells them they are worthless, they're not good enough, Uh, If they die, it's not going to be any change or no one's going to cry after them or, you know, it's all of, it's usually all of this, all of these wounds within people are kind of always uh, linked to lack of attention or something like lack of recognition, which is still a lack of attention. I've said it a long while ago and some people even agreed, although it was a bit curious and difficult probably. I said all the ills in the world stem from lack of attention, right? Psychiatry and psychology may stem other things out of this and may say that there are other causes as well, but, you know, I've presented a certain root of all evils. Now, if you want to remove illusions, well, most likely you can't remove an illusion. If you have acquired it in your mind, in your system, it will be part of your system, at least as a memory. You don't want to remove karmic substrates from them because it's like you haven't encountered those challenges ever 
And there is a problem in this, right? Because you will be forced to go through those again in order to learn something, right? Even when you learn something through repetition, right? That repetition makes it stronger, right? Just like people with self-destructive tendencies, they need to meet other toxic people for a sufficient period of time before they become, you know, knowledgeable of the fact that they actually don't truly need that. So, in order to beat illusions, one has to realize that they are meaning. They only make sense to you for certain emotional and cognitive unmet ideas, desires, and the such. Once one realizes that they are nothing else but a useless piece of meaning, well, once they no longer have any foundation within you, right? Well, they can simply no longer function. In order for any idea to function within you, you have to understand it. If someone tells you something in a different language, at a certain dimension within you, you may actually understand it, right? Because if it is a curse, if it is something, unconsciously you may perceive it, but consciously you cannot understand the language. So this, in a way, is useless, right? All illusions, all pieces of meaning, all thoughts, emotions, and the such, they typically have to flow through you. The moment you create attachments to those, they will sediment within you and you will start suffering from those. Because those are not needed for your, uh, what is it called, spiritual development. For your spiritual enhancement, let's say. See, the point is, you need to realize that every illusion in itself, in its own function, it needs a substrate. It needs the capacity to create a foundation in order to flourish upon. If you become wise enough and, well, sensitive enough to life, and you will see how life functions, you can become connected with life as a whole, life in general, and everything that is around you. You see it as an effort of forces that have been doing their part in order for that final thing to actually exist the way you see it and you perceive it, right? Once you fill your mind, more better said, once you fill your existence with this, your mind will simply be less and less important. When this happens, it is a very great victory against psychology as a dimension, because your meaning will become less and less relevant to you. Once it becomes less and less relevant, you will realize that With meaning becoming less relevant, any other piece of meaning will simply not be able to create a foundation, right? Illusions will enter your mind, but if they are irrelevant, if they don't serve a purpose, if they can't serve their purpose, that of taking up space and convincing you of something that doesn't serve you, right? You become knowledgeable of the fact that ultimately illusions and manipulation are exactly the same thing as black magic. Because black magic means using energy against the others, right? It is using energy to other people's detriment. But it comes at a great cost because it kind of always has to be made use of through your own energy. If it is made use of through your own energy, well, that is a point. Because if you're using your own energy into black magic or whatever, detrimental things for others, well, that is the greatest and at the same time worst type of karma that you can get. Great not in the sense of good, right? It is the greatest evil karma you can gather within you. So you'll probably have to pay for that, living couples of lifetimes, hundreds, thousands of lifetimes afterwards, stuck in all sorts of illusions and behaviors, which probably are detrimental to you in the first place, right? Like testing how much you can last doing something or hurting yourself or hurting others. Because it all branches out, it doesn't matter much. But in order to break illusions, simply realize they require a foundation. That foundation is built on meaning. If meaning doesn't serve you any purpose anymore, just like it does with me, you only make use of it as a tool, but it doesn't make use of you instead, or you don't react to it anymore. Illusions simply can't affect you, because ultimately, those illusions, well, they can't have a foundation. They are just a simple vibration that exists in your mind, will keep existing in your mind, but you're not giving it importance, you're not giving it energy, so it simply can't flourish. 
This being said, hopefully this video raised a bit of awareness, you are appreciated, Ferenjan Board signing out.